Dad, when did I first start mallet footwear? 2015. Started mallet footwear in 2015. All from one drawing. I got doubted more than anyone you could ever imagine growing up. I have difficulties reading and writing. I'm dyslexic. I don't know my time tables. And anything I've ever done, I've struggled in. I was doubted from school. I was, I was always sort of worthless. I could never get in front when it comes to like academics and things like that. But I always knew that I could earn a few quid. And it weren't until I got my teeth into sand and thought, hold on, I can make sand for myself here, and I'll become an absolute sicko. I started Mallet because I wanted to make a shoe that was accessible for everybody. So at the time, this is when shoes started getting really, really expensive and things was five, six hundred pounds a shoe. So I wanted to make something the same sort of quality, even better, at a more affordable price for everyone. So I was that guy when I started out that lived above his means with everything. I was trying as hard as I can to keep my head above the water. Like I'd lend money off family members to, to, to just help me get by. But then I had a 10 grand watch on my wrist. Who the fuck does that? I was trying to impress people and paint a picture of me that weren't me. So when it comes to starting out with Mallet, I had to knock every single job that I was doing at the time on the head because I wanted to focus just on this. I've always been quite big on the law of attraction and things like that. And people say, right, for example, Conor McGregor's worn your stuff. How does that make you feel? I knew he was going to do it. I knew it. Will I am wearing your stuff. Craig David sending out concerts wearing your stuff. Most of the rappers are, are, are in the scene wearing my stuff. I set goals for these sort of things. It was all my plan. Giving back is one of them things where I've got that sort of thing inside me where I want to help people. When it comes to it, if I'm sitting there watching the news, and I see something like bad happening, I feel like I can help with, then I think I'm the first one that wants to get involved in it. And I feel like it's a big thing to keep going forward. Like I met Freddie, who was a big, big part of my journey. I'd say the biggest. He was terminally ill, and his last wish was to meet me. And I'm telling you now, meeting him and what he taught me changed my life. Changed my life, man and Freddie come along and asked to design his shoe with me and put all my perspective in the right place. Like, what I'd actually done, I'd inspired a young kid. All I cared about was success at the time. Didn't feel like I'd see my family as much. It's quite selfish, really. I feel like I was at a quite, a selfish, like, quite a selfish stage of my life. I was sort of in my own, in my own world with it and I just thought I was invincible. But then I've got a 12-year-old kid that ain't got long left. And all he wants is just to meet me. I remember saying, when we design a shoe, that I'll bring it out for him and all the proceeds go to him. And he turned around and said, nah, I don't want the money, I want to give it to charity. Everything I taught him that day, he went back to Great Ormond Street and he used. He was making trainers in, in Great Ormond Street on an iPad. So Freddie was in his hospital room designing these shoes and put them on his Instagram and like post them on social media saying, concept by myself, these will never ever be made. So, unfortunately, by the time I could make the sample to show him, he died. And that was, um, that was a tough time for me, man. It's, it's, it taught me things that I never, I never knew about myself. So, I scrapped the initial idea of the shoe we designed together and I designed the actual one that he did. The one that he written his caption saying, this will never be on sale. And I released them and donated all the money that he wished for to the charity. So I'd, I'd say that's up there one of my biggest achievements. My goals for Mallet is to be bigger than anyone could have imagined. People could look at it now and say, what more do you want? I'm in so many luxury stores. I'm competing with more luxury brands than anyone could have ever thought. I think the only people I've got to thank is like my customers and people that supported me. Even if you supported me and never bought a Mallet product, it's not about that. It gives you that extra push in the mornings. And I can't thank people enough for that. I'm looking to take this above and beyond and more than anyone could ever imagine.